Why do our troops want want Ron Paul to be their commander in chief? Look, this is a big story. He's the dark horse, but you know what? He's going to keep on gaining uh, gaining momentum. It really is a, a, probably a three person race. But Ron Paul, don't count him out. You know the media wants to write him off. But despite everything that they're doing, he's gaining traction because he's the only guy that speaks the truth. He's, a, he, he's in there for his country. He's not just trying to, you know, enhance his resume. He's, he doesn't care about the power. He actually, you know, he's been fighting for these principles his whole life. You know, some people that talk about the Tea Party, he was a Tea Party congressman before the Tea Party even existed, before they even knew what, 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 what the principles that they're standing for. So he, this is his time, and I, I really hope that he wins. If anyone deserved to be president, it's Ron Paul, and he would make a fantastic president. And if he got elected, and we actually got some congressmen and some some senators uh, that were elected alongside him, we might have a chance. You know, I might have to change my whole business strategy. I wouldn't have to be gloom and doom anymore. You know, I, well, it, I mean, it is our type that's investing in America. I could bet on America instead of against it. But right now, betting against it is like a sure thing. Well, it is archetypal. I, I totally agree with you that that right as America's imploding, here's a guy for 30 plus years who's been absolutely on target. And we've got a chance to elect him president. And he is in the top three candidates, depending on the poll, as you said, number one, number two, or number three, with all the dirty tricks in the Wall Street Journal, when he gets over half, won't even show his name. MSNBC, he gets 60 percent, won't show his name. I mean, the, uh, Fox News got caught dubbing over him being booed when he won CPAC the second time from the year before. All sorts of weird, dirty tricks. That illustrates the establishment the left. The establishment is afraid of this guy because he's against everything that they stand for. He is the most anti-establishment candidate, and that's exactly what we need. That's what the public wants. But the, but, but the establishment knows they can't, they can't let the public know about him because they're afraid that they're so going to... So if we don't get Ron Paul, though, and things continue, are we looking at total collapse in a year, or is it just continued inflation? Well, ultimately, the inflation will bring on a collapse unless the Federal Reserve takes action uh, to put an end to it. But, of course, the longer we wait, the longer we keep rates low, the higher they're going to have to rise, the more painful the cure becomes. So, it, look, it is going to be disaster, e even if we do everything right. At this point, since we've delayed it for so long, it, you know, it's going to be a train wreck. But at least if we do everything right, uh, we could walk away from the train wreck. <clears throat> you know, but if we continue on this path... Everybody's going to die. You know, so let, let's do the right thing while we still That's have right. a chance. That's right. We've seen the big tax and spin globalist model that doesn't work. Uh, CEO of Europe Pacific Capital, Peter Schiff, thank you so much for spending time with us. Sure. Thanks for having me on, Alex. Wow. <laughs> that interview went long. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I just can't keep the news to the format when you got people like Peter Schiff on. Just amazing information. We're going to go to break and come back and talk to Kurt Haskell. He was the guy that witnessed with his wife the U.S. government helping get the underwear bomber on the plane. And a month and a half later, the Undersecretary of State had to admit, yeah, we were ordered to help give him a passport and get him on the plane. Then that was used to put in the naked body scanners. Now the TSA is training the NFL to grope every man, woman, and child that comes into a sports stadium. We're going to talk to him about that and a lot more after this quick break. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars Nightly News at InfoWars.com. Obama is notoriously a liar. We need to go to where the real architecture of government is, and it's not in a president. Wall Street has hijacked Washington in broad daylight. Well, Obama's already fudging. Yeah, fudge since day one in this election. The elite are using Obama to pacify the public so they can usher in the North American Union by stealth, launch a new Cold War, and continue the occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. The globalists are outside all the nations. That gives them safety, and they play countries off against each other. You've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. What they're doing is using the existence of the United States to act out their 
Wall Street fantasies of world domination and maintaining their capital structures and maintaining their system of looting. The fight that this country has been waging since its inception is for the central bankers not to take over the country. President Barack Obama is only the tool of a larger agenda. Senator Obama had a desire to do some meetings. Others had a desire to meet with him tonight in a private way, and that's what we're doing. Presidential candidate Barack Obama was publicly criticizing the North American Free Trade Agreement in a bid for votes, but privately telling Canadian officials not to worry about it. If you talk to our generals, they are desperate for is a civilian uh, counterpart to our military force. What do you call this thing where you get this false sense of gratification, but because a black man is in office, everything's going to be all right. No, everything's not going to be all right. So I know how unpopular it is to be seen as helping banks right now, especially when everyone is suffering in part from their bad decisions. I promise you, I get it. The Obama deception, the truth strikes back. Get your copy of the Obama deception today at InfoWars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv.